Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. I have received a lot of questions of late of how to attach a model to a base that isn't flat. So today we're going to go over how to pin your model to a base. This is a continuation video of the tutorial as you can see here on how to do bases using concrete patch which creates a more of an uneven layer and make the bases look more natural. So pinning the model to this base is very important to make sure that it stays on the base throughout all of the games you're going to play. We hope you can enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin. In this tutorial, I'm pinning this ogre model to a new fresh base. Make sure that the base and the model are compatible. This will help to prevent gaps and problematic placement of rocks that can make it hard to attach the model to its base when it's all done. What you need for this tutorial is an appropriately sized metal wire. You can use mostly any type of metal wire as long as it's about the same size as the drill bit and it's fairly hard metal. Brass rods are good, but in this tutorial I'm using a stainless steel wire. The second thing you need is a tool to drill the holes into the two parts you are combining. In this case, the base and the model's foot. For smaller pinning projects you can use something like this small hobby drill. Or you can use a small lightweight dremel if you're pinning a whole army. This will help to not put so much wear on your hands and make the drilling go a lot faster. For this one I've used masking tape to create a tension between the rotary tool and the drill bit. You also need super glue. The first step is to find the spot you want the model to attach to. Try to center the model best you can. The next step is to drill the hole into the model's foot. Center the drill but in the direction of the ankles. This may mean that you're drilling into the heel as can be seen here. Check the holes for depth to make sure that it's not surface leveled. After this we attach the wire. If the wire and the drill bit is closely matched, it will sink in very snug. So I tend to use an old clipper to grip the wire and help guide it into the hole completely. I add a bit of super glue to the hole before I push the wire in. After the glue has dried, it's time to cut the wire below the foot in an appropriate length. If you have a thicker base, you can leave the wire a little bit longer, but you want to make sure that it's not too long or too short. Hold the extra wire as you nip it off so that it doesn't fly into the depth of your studio space. Next I check to see where I need to drill the hole in the base. This I pretty much eyeball, but I rotate the miniature around so that I don't run into any obvious problems. Keep an eye on or make a mark where you need to make the hole, then start drilling the base. The best part about the cement that we've been using in our uh, basing videos is that it dries solid and hard but it's easy to drill in. After this, check the model's position to make sure it sits snug on the base. The great thing about these ogre's feet is that they are so large that you can easily redrill the hole if it ended up not working in your favor, such as the toes ending up on a rock or something. For smaller models with much smaller surface areas, you can touch up the old hole with a grass tuft or some paint or maybe even a skull, if the hole is very visible. We are now ready to attach the model to its base. So we add some super glue to both feet and slide the pin into the base hole. Now the ogre is pinned to the base and we're going to let the glue dry. When we come back we're gonna finish the base off with some grass tufts. Here I have some grass tufts from Shadow's Edge Minis. I use a tweezer to pick up a tuft and I use some super glue to attach it to the base in a desired location. I use different types of grass for some variation. 
The last thing you can do if you want to take this to the next level is to add some wash and a dry brush to these grass tufts once the glue has fully dried. But for this tutorial, we're gonna leave it here and call him battle ready. And that's it. Quick and easy way to attach your models to these bases. And if you haven't already checked out our basing technique, don't hesitate to check that video out as well. We want to give a special thanks to all of our patrons who kindly donate to this communal project. They have helped us to upgrade our recording equipment to give each of you better quality tutorials. We appreciate any support that you can give. So if you have a spare dollar to give, don't hesitate to head over to our Patreon page, link is down below, and pledge what you can give to help us make more tutorials for the community to use. We have some great Patreon benefits as well, including shirts and stickers. The model used in this video was an ogre from Games Workshop, painting handle was from Redgrass Games, and drill was from Citadel Games Workshop. The intro animation was created by Robbie Shillstone. Editing is done by the amazing Martin Kramer. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to us to help grow this channel and support to help us produce more free tutorials. Thank you for watching and happy painting.